Hi, kindergarten. It's Mrs. Fi. Missed you guys. I wanted to show you Callie. She's my cat. So she's right here. Thought you'd like to see her. She's 10 years old. In fact, she turned 10 years old about April 9th. So this is Callie. Um, so Callie, you can say hi to the kindergartners and say hi. All right, well, Kelly's gonna hang out with me today. Maybe, we'll see if she'll stay in my arms. And we're gonna work on a new vowel. So our new vowel is a, a, a elephant, like an elephant, like make an elephant, like an elephant trunk, okay? We're going to work on telling the difference between a, a umbrella and a, a elephant, okay? So we have magnetic letters today that we're going to be using. So if you have magnetic letters, you need to find the letters. Well, I'm going to show you. Let's look at the magnetic letters. We'll see if Callie will kind of hang out in the video for a little bit. I don't know if she will. And she may. And she's going to meow. So here we go. Let's take a look at our letters. Bye, Callie. She's not going to assist me today. Okay. So let's. Let's name our letters and give our letters sounds. Ready? What's this letter? Look at the way it's a circle. It's a bat and a ball. So it's B, 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 B. And then I have, trace it, F, F. That's an E, right? Good job, E, F, F, good job. What's this? It's a circle, and then it kind of has like a monkey tail. This is kind of a weird one. This is a G, and what sound does that make? Yeah, it makes a G. Good job. This is our crazy T. Remember if I take the bottom off like that? It just looks like a cross. And T makes what sound? T -t -t -t. Sorry, tongue tapper. My tongue hits my teeth when I, when I say that. Sound. Good job. And then this is a U, and that makes a uh, uh, uh sound. Then I have W. Now, W and U, they have two different sounds, right? W is a w, 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 like watermelon or walrus. And then my last letter, or this can also be a vowel as well, you'll learn that later on, is a Y. Yeah, 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 like yo yo. So, we're gonna build some words. Now, remember with these words, my rule is I can take away the first sound, the second sound, or the third sound. So, we're going to start with the word bug. Bug. What letters do I need for bug? Ooh, b, 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 b. <gasps> yep, I need a B. B. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This one? No, that's eh. I need ah, uh, ah. Uh. Where's ah? Uh? There it is. B, ah, uh. g, g, g. That's right. I need a G. Bug. So let's put our finger into that. Ready? B, ah, uh, g. Let's spell bug. B, U, G. Good job. Okay. Now I'm going to change bug to. Beg, beg, like, you know, your dog, if you're eating food and your dog begs, it's like, it's kind of on its hind legs and it's, <laughs> so beg. So I'm going to get rid of, am I going to get rid of b? No, because I hear it. Am I going to get rid of a? Uh? Yes, a uh is going to go back up here and I need another vowel. Hmm. What about this? Can that be a vowel right now? No, not yet. So we're gonna put this one here. Eh. Let's let's decode. Ready? I'm gonna slide my finger underneath each sound. Ready? B, e, g, bag. Good job. Now I'm going to change bag to bat. What am I gonna get rid of? Am I gonna go get rid of b? No, because I hear it in the word. Bat. I'm gonna get rid of e. Eh? No, because that's in there too. We're gonna get rid of the G. Bet. T -t -t. I am. So the G is gonna go back up here. And I need a new sound. Bet. B. E. T. 
I hear a T. Awesome job. Let's decode. Ready? B -e -t. B-E-T. Let's spell bet. B-E-T. Awesome job. Now we're going to change bet to wet. Wet. That's right. I get rid of the first sound. What do I want to put there? Wah, 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 wah. Do I want to put this here? Well, that's a y sound. That's not going to work. Wah, wah, wah. That's right. I want to put a W. Let's decode. Ready? Wah, et, wet. And we spell wet. W E T. Awesome job. All right. We have another one. I want to change wet to yet. Yet. What do I do? Yet. I want to get rid of the first sound. Exactly. So I'm going to get rid of wa and I'm going to find ya, ya, ya. Right here. There you go. Let's decode. Ready? Ya, et, yet. Awesome job. Now, what other words can we spell with the et family? We spelled bet, we spelled wet, and we spelled yet. I see one more word. Do you know what word we can spell with the et family? That's right. Get. Let's try it. Ready? G, et, get. That was a bonus for you guys because you're so smart. Anyways, so here's what you need to do. Practice these words. Read these words. You can, again, write them on sidewalk chalk in your driveway is a great idea. Get out some shaving cream and write them in shaving cream. You could use uh, Play-Doh and you can create your words that way too. There's so many different things you can do. You can, um, you could actually take hot water. Maybe we should do this sometime and see if it works. And if mom or any of your sisters have like old fingernail polish, you could actually spell in the hot water because it stays. So anyways, that might be something cool to do too. All right, you guys, take care. I super miss you. I hope you are having a great time at home and you are having so much fun with your family and just making so many memories as I know I am, but I miss you guys. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye, kindergarten.